Good Wednesday morning to you. I'm meteorologist Matt Jones. Today is a first alert weather day because we are tracking the potential of some severe weather, especially this morning. So just factor that in as you head off to work and school that we could have some strong storms, at least across parts of the Arklatex. And then as we head through the afternoon hours here, the entire region will be under at least a slight risk. That's a two out of five on the scale. So overall, the threat later today is not going to be huge, but there is going to be the potential that we could see one or two severe storms all the way through mid to late afternoon. Now, as far as our severe weather threats for today. Uh, the tornado risk overall is definitely going to stay very low. An isolated tornado is certainly possible, uh, but those threats are going to stay on the lower end unless you are out this morning. So early this morning, we have a higher risk, but as we head towards the afternoon, that threat will diminish. Damaging wind gusts certainly will be a possibility with any storm that does form today up to 60 miles an hour, and there could be some quarter size hail with a few of those storms as well. So again, a bit of an active day for us, but I think the strongest of the storms is pretty much going to be between right now and say eight or nine o'clock this morning. We're going to keep a close eye on our East Texas counties, especially there around Texarkana, stretching into Southwest Arkansas. These are the storms early this morning that have the highest potential to maybe produce a tornado or some much larger hail, uh, but they will diminish quickly as they push their way into Northwest Louisiana as we lose some of those ingredients by mid morning. And then notice as we head towards about noon, still some leftover showers and storms, but not nearly as strong as what we could see early this morning. And then as we get into the afternoon, a lot of that activity will push east at least temporarily, but the problem is this front is going to stall across the area. So showers and storms will redevelop overnight tonight and notice by midnight we're socked in again with widespread storms and heavy rainfall. We are not going to be seeing a severe weather threat later on tonight. The threat is going to transition more towards heavy rainfall and flash flooding as we head into tonight and into tomorrow. And notice those showers and storms kind of hang out over the same spot over and over again. That location south and east of Shreveport, basically from Nacogdoches all the way up through Minden, could see some very heavy rainfall. And that rain will continue all the way through Thursday. In fact, this rain might continue all the way through Friday as well. So when you add it all up, we could see some very heavy rainfall amounts here in that corridor just south of Shreveport there. So the southern half of the Arklatex where you see some of that orange shaded area, uh, that could be anywhere from maybe two to as much as five inches of rain all the way through Friday morning. And so the flooding concerns are really going to start to increase as we head through the next couple of days. So obviously today we have a high chance of storms and then notice the rain chances though stay very high through Thursday, even into Friday, finally tapering off on Saturday the good news is your Easter Sunday right now is looking to be much better. So again, today is a first alert weather day. We are tracking the potential of severe storms, especially during the morning hours. And then just a chilly rain. Look at those temperatures. That is way, way below average for this time of year. Highs only in the 50s for Thursday and Friday. So a chilly rain. And then we'll break out of this with some sunshine returning Saturday. Easter Sunday looking gorgeous, 76 degrees. And then it gets much warmer by next week. We're back in the 80s by Monday and Tuesday.